Okay, that's solved. He had auto sign on, which he should have not had. All right. Yeah, we're going to take the Iowa job. So we're set right here. His security was not low, but whatever. And he just got a seven-year extension. So, all right. Coach XP, welcome to your coach skill tree. This is something I haven't played in a long time. So if I clip it out here and get rid of that intro, hello everyone, welcome. This is a streamed uh, episode, but uh, you can we'll be putting this out on YouTube anyway. So uh, this is year one of a brand new NCAA 14 dynasty with the Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm going to turn my game down here on my headset. Playing, you know, generic stuff. Got the updated rosters for 2018-2019 season. And the link for that will be in the description below. So, OC Brian Ference. All right. Phil Parker. Nice. He's nearly all the way up anyway. All right. So, let's back out of Kirk's coaching tree. Let's set up the recruiting board. No. I'll create a prospect next year, I think. Because Stanley's a junior, so. All right, recruiting data. What are what do I need? Center, okay. Linebackers. And Good hey, we got a resub. What's up, Ty? Thank you for that little resub for five months and tier three to boot. Thank you very, very much. Um, what game did you vote for, by the way? <laughs> Four votes. Just wondering what everyone voted for because this one won somehow, which is fine. I can switch to Doom later after we get preseason done. Not Madden. This is NCAA. Shut your face. How dare you? My school... That's this is this is a thing that's stupid. Everyone that makes these things, always like this is all a custom done thing, you know. Everyone puts ca campus lifestyle as a seat Iowa City, despite the fact that it's the top five party school nationally, all in like a bunch of rankings. I hate that shit. It's really annoying. Everything else, pretty solid. Like pro potential is an A. You know, got a lot of NCAA and NFL players that came from Iowa. Stability should be an A for coaching. Parents is on to twenty years now, but hey, what do I know? Uh, recruiting strategy. Alright. So how goes your weekend tie? Alright, these are my pipeline states. Targeted prospects from Mississippi. I'm also going to set up a little custom schedule to help me out in the short term. But maybe not. We'll see. Alright, so there's those three. Added three prospects. Fox Skyler. The weekend has been pretty good. Good to hear. Mine has as well. Got a nice snap in today. Watched a few streams. Went really well. All right, we're already in his top three. Oh shit, he needs to be our number one. Oh, he's a junior though. Okay. Pretty sure you gave yourself diabetes. Jeez, what'd you do? Friend made butter beer. Oh damn, that'll do it. By the way, how's the audio balance? You know, us usual shenaniganry to ask. Looks good on my end. I had to ed change it a little bit. It was a little loud at the beginning. All right, so we need middle linebacker and free safety. Four star, nice. Gotta get my pipeline states. Audio balance is good.
All right, let's see what we got. Only 20 matches for four stars. Okay. Oh, there would Oh shit. He's our first Any top fives? One match. All right. I got five slots left. Roseville, Minnesota. Got to get your boy from Iowa. Minnesota. Let's say Wisconsin. Who do you got playing tomorrow? Probably gonna be streaming something, but I don't know what yet. All right, recruiting board is full. Oh, where's my points? Oh, he's 100% scouted. Okay. He looks really good. Team need positions. Oh, he looks even worse now. No plans. Gonna go play dodgeball. Nice. What dodgeball is fun? He held steady. He's a lot better than he looks. So is he. He's about the same. That ball's awesome. I always loved it. They're both steady. All right, back to the thing. All right, so that's recruiting set up and finished. Uh, let's check out my depth chart, make sure everything is set. Nathan Stanley, indeed. Uh, no, I want Kelly Martin as my lead back. Makes sense to me. Looks good. Noah Fant. Got a decent offensive line. Anthony Nelson and Epineza. Hell yeah. I'm so excited for next weekend. It's going to be awesome. Matt Hankins. Always oh, a tiny kid. Pick last and never do. See, I was super tiny as well for a guy. I just had the agility, so it looked pretty good. Oh, they even got rid of Brandon Snyder. Kudos. They paid attention. Kickoff specialist, line long snapper. All right, that's done. Let's see who I have to redshirt. Spencer Petrus. Do I only want two? 
I do. I'll let him redshirt. So red, so how familiar are you with college football or football in general, Liz? Or Ty, sorry, geez, sorry, I just saw Liz on here. I apologize for that. She just put the thing in there about knowing how Jen felt. Uh, they all ventured, by the way. I know you have. Not enough, does, don't mean anything by it. Yeah, Doyle, you're gonna redshirt, sorry. Nope. Custom schedule. Yeah, what is my schedule this year? You love football, but don't understand any of the plays? All right. Well, are you aware of red shirting and stuff in college? So this should be FCS. No. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I didn't want to do that. That looks more or less good to me. Okay. All right, then I think. I think we're good to start the season. to sing the school chants. So redshirting is basically going to make the kids sit out a year without you losing that year of eligibility. So basically it retains a year, used a lot with freshmen, uh, people that, so they, you know, especially in football, so you can bulk up and get bigger if you're not physically 100% ready to play at the college level from high school. Uh, you know, that's the most common reason it's used. It's also a medical redshirt if you get hurt after only playing so many amounts of games. Uh, now it's four. Uh, so if you, like, blow your knee out the fourth game of the year, uh, you don't lose that year of eligibility. You get it back next year. Um, you know, so that's that's one of the, some of the more common reasons why redshirting is used, especially at schools like Iowa, where it's very developmental. The guys that are coming in aren't 100% ready. they got to develop them a year in and a year out. So. College football is definitely more my thing anymore than the pros. You know, I mean... Pro football, football's going to die, I think, sooner than later, sooner than people think, because, I mean, it's dying at the high school level. Uh, participants Participation is going down drastically year to year. I think it's lost particip participant numbers year over year. Uh, so, I mean, once you, once you lose the high school, your sport's basically done. Uh, whereas basketball keeps growing and growing and growing and is probably at this point more of an American sport than anything else we do. Uh, and the viewership ratings are through the roof and they will continue to be so. Uh, probably even more so now that uh, LeBron is out west for, you know, game-to-game -game competitiveness sake in the regular season. So basketball, I think, within maybe 15 years is going to overtake football. I would That would not shock me at all to see that be supplanted as, like, the sport we follow in America, which is fine with me. But I like football. I, you know, I really enjoy football, but basketball is my thing. Uh, 6,000 points allocated. I'm going to remove my busts. Wait, how do I reorder?
Literally couldn't do a layup to save your life. Yeah, like, football is just, it's not going to be the thing. I'm a little I'm a little rusty on Oh geez, they're leading. I don't like that. Basketball is a bigger sport here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want that tight end. Tight ends, you better come here. Tight end, Iowa's like tight end you, man. That's what we do. Make tight ends all the time. They go pro, have nice productive careers. Some guys, sorry. Hello, Kadrian, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm just out here trying to set up my recruiting board for week one here in my new season. Yes! Hey, thank you for the follow. Um, no. What am I doing? What was I doing? I was trying to get my guys who have zero input to get something in there and get him a lot more points. I think that's everything. Watching the video from Dead by Daylight. Your vocabulary sunk down to shit. Fuck, goddamn, pretty much. Uh, it's a fun game. It's just frustrating at times. Yeah, how how Maddie plays it like constantly is a little beyond me. All right, Coach Central. Here we go. Week one. We're ready to play. Get for this game, I might have to go get a drink. I think we'll probably play a couple games, and then uh, I'll probably have to download this stream. By the way, how's the syncing? Everything good there, too, before we get too far? I think I got it nailed. But while we're waiting for that to load in the background... 
we'll just do a quick sync test. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let me know if the you know webcam and my mics are synced, and then of course game to audio as well. All right, here we go, my boy. Wait, where's oh, where was Stanley? Sync looks good. Excellent. I think it's finally dialed in. Finally. I don't know what I did to change it. I'm a little concerned that this isn't back in black from ACDC because it's supposed to be ACDC. Hey, there's your boy Nathan Stanley. One of the best kept secrets in the country. Gonna just set the world on fire this year. I hope. Solidly knock on my wood desk there. Vision is a bit blurry. Haven't worn my glasses all day. Well, why would you do that? What, did I turn the commentators off? Didn't think I did. I might have. They are off. Do you guys want the color, the color commentary from the, you know, from Kirk Herbstreet and who is it, Reese Davis? Let me know. I'll play without it for now. I didn't even think about that. Miguel Racinos, Michael Ojemudema. I think he left the team. No, it was Manny Vergumbo that left the team. Yeah. Glasses are in your car. Too long of a walk. Yeah, I feel you. Here we go. There we go. Jordan Huff. I'm actually really worried about the real life Northern Illinois game next week because we have like three of our top guys on the offensive side out for suspension. Which could be real interesting. Yeah, turn him upfield. There we go. And Northern Illinois is good. Like, they've got some quality pieces. Oh, almost had that pick. Trey Kramer. Creamer. I always seems, yeah. We, we always have a good second half. Well, I shouldn't say always. There's been a couple seasons where we haven't, but... You know, Iowa interference always has a better second half than we do first half. That's what we do. Oh, short punt. No only come back. It's hell yeah, and we always play top five teams super well at home. Like, super crazy well. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want the commentary or if you want me to just play the game without the, the, the fake ESPN commentary. Well, speaking of the Lobos, you guys had Iowa's old basketball coach for a while. Before. And then, so after he was at Iowa, he went to New Mexico. Then he went to UCLA. That was the coach who will not be named because he was a rapist-enabling asshole. Hey, Kelly Martin with the broken tackle. Oh, shit, he fumbled. Okay, he caught it. Whew. Good thing it didn't. Okay, it's a booth review. Well, I'm saying we're not reviewing it. We recovered it. Oh, it's ground caused. Gotta love that super silky smooth animation. He was down by contact. Just drop football. Yeah. A lot of schools, I think, are going to start doing that because it's a massive... If you don't make money on football, which makes a lot of money if you're good or if you have a good following or brand like Iowa, not a nationally po big powerhouse, but the football program makes a lot of money. Like, without Big Ten money, it pulls in over $20 million a year. More than pays for Kirk Ferentz's salary. But 
if you don't make that kind of money, it's a mat. Like the expenses for football are crazy. So I think a lot of programs are going to start doing that. Ah, oh, shit. Held it too long. Is it is it you guys who have the name of your arena is the pit? Is that you guys? For basketball? Yeah. That's what we we took the name for our basketball like court in high school, which totally was a pit. Like it was basically imagine a kind of shrunken like machine shed, like an outbuilding on a farm where the ceiling is maybe 30 feet from the floor and it's peaked in the middle, all tin. So it's all just reverberating tin seats that are like literally this far from the floor. There was a rest restraining line around the entire court. Cause it was so small with our student section up on the stage facing one of the baskets. Holy shit. You could literally feel the floor shake. Like we were playing, who were we playing? Clarion, my, and they're a way bigger school, like easily, easily almost 10 times our size because our school was so tiny. Uh, they were a 3A, we're a 1A. We were a really tiny 1A. We wouldn't even have been a A school. I don't know. Like it would have been borderline. Uh, and all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, we're winning in the fourth quarter. And the crowd just, because we were a girls sports school, like our girls were constantly going to state and like everything. We had one girl who was so strong she could grab the ball here and just flip, literally flipped a girl with the ball over her shoulder. She was huge. Sadly, she never did disc in, high, in, in like track because she probably would have set the state record. Jesus, she was strong. Uh, and they never really cared about guys' sports, even though we weren't bad. We were just too small to be good at any one sport because we all played everything. And, man, when we were beating that school, that Clarion, I, I felt the floor shake. Like, you couldn't stand up without, like having to maintain your balance constantly it was awesome i love that i loved that court and sadly it's fallen into shit since the school doesn't exist anymore oh shit why did i go for two i didn't mean to i'm sorry virtual opposite team Get that edge. Hell yeah. Gotta set the edge. Outside leverage. Keep the contain. So I tell you, you're a Cardinals fan, given where you're at? Or who's your NFL team if you have one? Yeah, Kramer. Creamer. Creamed him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a Bears fan. That's right. You actually have a couple Hawkeyes on your team this year, specifically James Daniels, who one of your crazy radio guys said wasn't NFL ready coming out of the offensive line at the University of fucking Iowa. He wasn't NFL ready. What? Complete trash. One of the worst takes I've ever seen. Ah, bears. <laughs> ah, he almost had it. Miss NCAA football spent hours on recruiting. I know, right? What's up, Fusion? Uh, just started. We're playing week one uh, with the roster, with the updated rosters. Thankfully, there's still that community still doing that. Got my boy Nathan Stanley. Gonna shock some people this season, I think. Oh, Kelly Martin. Oh, damn it.
So how goes the weekend, Fusion? Power. Oh! Oh! That almost looked like a horse collar there, game. How detailed? Pretty detailed, actually. Um, everyone that I can... Like, they even got rid of the guy who last week quit the... No, two weeks ago quit the program. Two of the guys, Brandon Snyder and Manny Ragumbo, are no longer on the team. So they're, they're pretty well kept up. Uh, yeah, more or less. Here, I'll go to the... I'll shoot to the forum. I got 18 seconds. This is the page I use. They're the group that ESPN wrote about for that, like, keeping the, you know, keeping the dream alive type thing. Oh, shit. Come on. Get it off. Get it off. Thank God. Yeah, they're, they're, they, they have, like, a dedicated admin team, and they're uh, upgrading. They upgrade the rosters every year. Not always perfect, mind you. Like... Especially at schools like Iowa, where some of the players, unless you follow their recruiting, it's tough to evaluate them because they're such a developmental program. You know, there's no five-star guys who you kind of can peg an overall for right out of the gate. Uh, but a lot of the, the, the starters are pretty well put together. And they do a good job with the coaches, too. Like, they have... Uh, they make custom coaches and stuff. Like, when NCAA 14 was out... Brian Ferentz wasn't the offensive coordinator here. He is in this game uh, because of the roster file. So they do, a, they do a pretty solid job with what they got. Just going to run it right down their throats. Yeah, I toyed with either streaming this or watching the first that first kickoff, the second kickoff game I guess on ESPN the night. But oh, didn't want to watch that, so I figured I'll play some sports. Come on, Ross. There you go. I almost want to just take a knee to get back to 14. I've been watching season one of Daredevil. Hey, by the way, when is the release date for three? Is that next spring? I imagine that's going to be like a March release. Yeah, I wore my Doom shirt and my Hawkeye hat. I was ready for tonight's stream. What was my other choice? Doom. PUBG. I don't have any, I don't have any PUBG merch. Not what I meant to do. Fuck. November. Okay. This is going to be a quick turnaround from... Oh, shit. He caught that. I thought for sure that would get knocked down. It's a solid fitting shirt. I like this shirt. I wish I would have got the white Doom logo, but this is, you know, the retro logo, which is fine with me. But I just started an all secrets run for that game, so I got one level in and I'm on mission level two doing uh, all the secrets. Yeah, Herky the Hawk. Herky the Hawk. Oh, yeah. Now, I they, it's changed a little. You know, they have different iterations uh, and stuff than what's in this game. Like, he looks different for basketball and stuff like that. But more or less, yeah. There's some awesome gifts of Herky online, too. Get him, Nelson! Oh, my God, you had him. Like, uh, here. Look it up. Nelson! There you go. Yeah, the mascots are. I just really love the the Tiger Hawk logo. You know the. 
It's just a really cool look. I was always like, it's like Southern Miss. I'm like, no, it's not. The Tiger Hawk logo is fucking awesome. And it was commissioned for like 50 bucks, I think, or something back in the day, as the story goes, according to Hayden Fry. He just like commissioned an artist in the, in the Iowa City newspaper and was like, hey, I need a logo. And so someone made it. Oh! I just appreciate the, the very clean black and gold look. No ornate stuff. And I love the all black alternate uniforms. They're so awesome. I wish they were in this game. It's so weird to think that we hadn't even had the all black alternates when this game came out. Like all that stuff is fairly recent as far as Kirk Ferentz goes. Oh shit! Fuck. Got greedy. Double sluggo! Go, Stanley. Go. All right, now it's manageable. I wouldn't say terribly likely that I convert, but doable. All right, let's hit, let's hit Fant. Let's let that 98 overall tight end do some work. I don't think he'll be sticking around next season, unfortunately. He's got NFL after this season written all over him. As long as he stays healthy, he's going to go pro. That's just fine. Go get paid. But who knows? I mean, the last Iowa great that was like universal, always oh, going to be first rounder before Josh Jackson, Desmond King. And he was like, no, my mom said get a fucking degree, so I'm getting a fucking degree. And then he did. And then he got drafted in the fifth round. An absolute steal by the Chargers. Like, he, was, he had first round talent. We got him in the fifth Oh, oh, let him too much. He was so open. I just cannot wait for next weekend. It's just gonna, I'm gonna get like a bunch of pizzas, some wings, and just hunker down for the weekend of college football. I'm ready. It starts Thursday night, some of those kickoff games. So I'm going to have a pizza and wings like every night, Thursday through Saturday. It's going to be awesome. Ooh, steaks from Texas. Nice. And a boy, Martin. So uh, the real question is, how are you preparing them? Like, how are you cooking them? And, well, both, I guess. Both are legit questions. Like, do you have a go-to? I remember to throw it away. Yeah. Ribeyes, grill on the truck. No. Talking to you, marinade. Do you have any specific seasonings you like? Are they good enough to not have sauce? Like, you know, the specifics of grilling. Not just, oh, I grilled. Like, what did you grill and how'd you grill it? 
This is very important. Oh, fuck! I don't want to keep going for two. I keep forgetting to go for the PAT. Marinating a beer for a few hours. Shower rope. Nice. Actually, probably gonna do some beer can chicken next year. Or next week, not next year. Next week. Jesus Christ. Got some beer that's about to not be so great. So we're gonna do a quick beer can chicken. Oh, shoot! All right, let's go. All right, he didn't catch it. Good. Hey, talk to Joey. He's actually making beer. He's got the whole setup. I think between him and his dad, they're grill on charcoal. Yeah, I have a charcoal, but we just use propane at home because my dad doesn't like waiting for the charcoal. Oh, shit! Nice move. Better use that timeout, boy. Mesquite kind of peep. Prevent. Here we go. Jake Gervas. Had a boy. Mesquite for ribs and brisket. Never done brisket myself. Only ate it. Only consumed it. So quick quick question for you guys right here. Playing games like this. Should I just, should I just simulate the rest of the half? I mean, it's 24 nothing. And then move on to week two. Go for week two. Cool. I'll finish this series. And should I up the difficulty? I'm playing just on the default varsity. I'm, it's been a long time since I played 14, so that's what I kept it at. Let me know if I should up that. Now, keep in mind that in this case, Iowa is a, a significantly better roster than NIU. Up the difficulty, make it fun. All right. All American. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, what's what's the level? Yeah, it's all American then Heisman. Yep. See if it can make me rage. Well, when I get to the Big Ten schedule, I probably will be. Speaking of, that means next game on the schedule is Iowa State. Let me tell you, that CBS, okay, CBS this year in this offseason is fucking, they just clearly, the writers must hate Iowa. I don't, I don't understand it. So number one, they say, what's the best program in the state of Iowa? Razor thin between Iowa and Iowa State. The fuck? In the last 15 years, they've had, what, two winning seasons? And they're razor thin close with Iowa. Pfft. Shit out of here.
PC just makes it harder to pass. All right. All right, and we'll sim from here. And sim, end of game. Gonna pitch the shutout. We did. And anyway, gotta go finish Daredevil. Hey man, you enjoy that Daredevil goodness. Thank you for dropping by. I'll see you around. Let me know if you want to play the PUBG or anytime. All right. I guess at the game. I gotta go turn auto save back on too. I turned that off for... You haven't played much of the Pew Pew game lately? That's why I was thinking Doom, because I haven't done a lot of shooters lately. <sighs> Don't feel like being one with the bush? <laughs> I don't think you can do that in Doom, though. Oh, auto save is on. Okay. Bow. You turned into a rota. You don't like the shooters anymore? I know he doesn't. Yeah, as time goes on, you just have less and less time for it. Like. But seriously, I was watching the RT podcast and they're like, yeah, when I'm retired, I'm going to play all the games. I'm like, yeah, for real. I'm going to watch all the shit and play all the games when I'm retired. Like, fuck this vacation nonsense. I'm just going to play video games. Assuming my hands work. And then assuming I actually get old enough to retire. Which is a lot of assumptions. But hey. Someone locked us out? Moving on to the week three. Well, excuse me. I'm going to go get a drink while this is simming. Got a D-wire. Retro stuff. No wireless headsets. And I is back. For the Cy Hawk Trophy. 
Kirk, you're picking I Iowa State. Curb Street, you usually. Oh, by the way, yeah, Deadpool 2. What are you guys thinking? I kind of slept through it today, and I meant to post in there about it. I could do it tomorrow if anyone's game for doing it tomorrow. Because I, I was actually thinking about just buying it today digitally. And watching it tonight myself because when I stream it to you guys to do it the best possible way I have a lag otherwise if I do it the old way it's just really choppy and I can't even see what's going on but if I stream what I'm watching the monitor to rabbit uh, then I'm just on a bit of an audio delay Oh, shit. I didn't hit done. Phew. So if you wouldn't mind posting in the Discord about uh, said movie night. Oh, hell yeah. If you want to do that, if you want to stream it, definitely. I'm game for that. Uh, so we'll go off your schedule then. So if you want to hop in the Discord there, and speaking of, if anyone is watching... Finally got around to fixing this thing. So if anyone's down and wants to join the Discord for movie nights and such and keep the shenanigans going off stream, go ahead and check out the Discord. Ty, if you want to go to the movie night channel and ask what people are doing tomorrow, feel free. And know that I'm game for whenever. Ba -ba -da -da. All right, so I turned the difficulty up in a rivalry game. Surely this will never go wrong. Fucking Jack Trace Stadium. What a shit show. Ah, fuck. So, good return, though. All right, solid six yard rush to open the game. <laughs> Oof, excuse me. Oh. Go, oh, damn it, Hankins. Not Hankins, whoever that Hawkinson. Gotta hold that block, son. That wasn't even Hawkinson, that was an offer that was the tackle. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he got leveled. Damn. We'll see how this works. Fucking hell, get... That was some shit. I was trying to go for that hole. Really? One yard reception. Alright, here we go. Should have aired it on some touch. Fuck. Touchback. 
David Montgomery. Good good running back. He's probably going to go pro. He's probably a round two guy. Really good. Not looking forward to the Hawkeyes playing him in real life with all our underclassmen and no experience linebackers. Oh, we're going with the hurry up, huh? Alright, third and nine. What? Oh. God damn it. Now the game's getting interesting. Yeah, it's not just blowout after blowout. Oh, got him. Should have pitched it like a fool. Held him down for fourth and one. That was dicey. All right, thirteen yard return. Back dive on second and three. Oh, okay, two yards. Forgot to eat dinner. <laughs> I had spaghetti. It was good. Go get food. Hey, what up, Biggums? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. We're on week two of uh, brand new Dynasty playing as the Iowa Hawkeyes. In the middle of the battle for the Cyhawk trophy. Oh, shit. That didn't work. Last few weeks, you're forgetting the list has gotten worse. Getting We're getting old, Ty. Hate to say it. I can, I can I can definitely tell my short-term memory is not as great as it was. Oh! Ow! All right, Marset, let's go for you, bad boy. Show. That was so dumb. So dumb. 50 hours last week. What did I pick? 
I don't remember what I picked. I think I picked the wrong thing. Yeah, I picked pass. I didn't want to do that. Brain takes a shit. Yeah. Once you hit, there's a certain wall. When you hit that, you're just... Damn, I just missed the angle. Get sawned. Game like, yeah, for, yeah, for coming out. No, it would have been 2014. Would have been like, oh, Nelson. Ah! It was developed in 2013. You're more than likely right about that. That's when the bulk of the work was done, was 2013. I really wish we'd get something that could, you know, have grown with the times. Like, this is just doesn't even have the playoff. But, you know, I understand the why the court case came down the way it did. Atta boy! Good player recognition from the DT! From Lattimore. I don't know. I'd be, I'd be curious. And see, I couldn't... I, oh, Kempt! Just gonna about to light your ass up! Parker Hesse will not be denied. No, that wasn't Hesse. It was 34. Gervas. Because NCAA is really touchy about their license, so I doubt anyone's modded it in any great detail. I mean, as soon as the schools get over the whole amateur amateurism argument NCAA football will be like that as long as Madden keeps going it actually won't take him long to turn the switch and just produce a new Madden um wouldn't be as polished I don't think because they they have to start from scratch and the whole recruiting stuff but and remake the playoff and, and all that but as far as the base model and engine goes wouldn't take them long but it's really all up to the schools. Oh yeah, it would. The first year would totally just be a reskin Madden. Totally. I meant to hit Fant, not him. Because they'd want to cash in on the on the windfall of a new incident of a game. So of course it would be mostly just a Madden reskin. Shit. Oh yeah, the bowl system and all that stuff. Like, the BCS doesn't exist anymore. Like, a lot of the game has changed. Damn it, I should have gave it some more air. Or, I mean, dro drove it. How short was I? Oh, 47 yarder is probably his max. All right. Number 17 on the run. No gain. No, it's Welch. I thought that was Gervas. Jake Gervas. What number is he? Oh, must be a different number. If it's just for one game, it's probably not worth it, personally. But if you have other stuff you want to play, like stuff that didn't get ported over, you know? I, I keep my 364, you know, NCAA for, like, first runs of, like, the Arkham series and stuff. Like, the non-reskinned ones. Fuck, they're starting to move the ball. Or if you just want to get, like, an old console for games you never played. Like, there's so many PS PlayStation exclusives in the PS3 that were legit worth it. If you don't have a PS4, or they were just games you never got around to playing.
really just comes down to what are the games besides NCAA, because if it's just one, I'd probably say no. But that's just my opinion, you know? I almost bought one for NCAA and Force Unleashed. I think they ported it now. Oh, speaking of Pokemon stuff, Joey has Pokemon Stadium on his N on his N64, and he's probably gonna stream it soon. But Force Unleashed was a fun game. Not so much the second one, but get the get the edge, man. There you go. Yeah, I enjoyed that Maddie busted that out for the charity stream. That was pretty fun. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. Oh boy, Fant. It was like Instagram, po Pokemon Instagram in the 90s. Oh, what a play. So I, I had the N64 games. I never actually owned an N64, so a lot of it I just played at friends' place, friends' house. Boy, easily would have been my safety blanket. Going over the top, Fant! Mm. Yes. I want to see that all season in real life. Stanley to Fant over the top, just owning people. You're not going to be able to put a linebacker on this dude. Then you got to put a linebacker on somebody else. Now that's a mismatch. Good luck stopping that man when he's got a head of steam, too. Jesus. Torin Young with his first carry being a touchdown. Kyle, I'm an Iowa football guy more than I am over the NFL anymore. Um, but I'm a Vikings fan. So, I mean, I'm basically a Cubs fan, but for the NFL. Uh, because it's just constant, heartbreaking, and crushing misery every single season. I'll shush your face hole, you stupid Bears fan. But if I had to choose, I don't know. It depends on the year, I guess, what I would choose. But I have reasons to be highly optimistic about both teams, because, you know, the, the Vikings look primed for another super deep postseason run, and then the Hawkeyes are in that position where if you subscribe to the whole overperform expectations, like 
this is the year where Iowa usually like sneaky coming, you know, off a bowl victory, no expectations, and then oh shit, here come the Hawkeyes. That's that's what it feels like this kind of year, this time, you know, this year. So, uh, by the way, who is your best receiver the last three years? Because I guarantee you, the top two receivers on the Vikings team plus the tight end would beat the shit out of anybody on that you guys had. Not to mention a better offensive line, better coach, better offensive coordinator, and a better defense to keep us in games more. Just saying, the team is way better than what, what he had to work with in Washington. It's not even a contest. So I'm, Rudolph is a top 10 TE I, when, he, when he's healthy. He does have some health consistency. And Adam Thielen is a top 5 wide receiver, and Defon, Stephon Diggs is probably a top 10. And in traffic, he's like number 1. Like he has the best... Like, catch, like, you know, when you get hit type things. He's the best. So, yeah. Kirk's going to do just fine. It's really more if the offensive line can stay healthy. Because the last couple of years, they've just imploded back half of the season with injuries. Kind of frustrating. But Also, what up, Iowan? Thank you for dropping in. Wanted to say, hey, just got involved in a, in a rant. So, I had to keep it going. And I'm just saying, it's all in good fun. I'm not, like, shitting on anybody or any team in person. I don't really care that much. It's sports. It's not the end of the world. It's supposed to be fun. Nelson, eat him alive. Totally open to can of worms. True. But, hey, it's it's just supposed to be fun. Like, I actually wrote, uh, I don't know if anybody here is a Rooster Teeth fan and maybe watches sports ball. I'm a big Rooster Teeth fan. Obviously, the Rooster Teeth community is one of the things I stream under. Uh, and I watch sports ball. But the, one of the hosts has, like, a Colin Coward-level hate of all things Iowa. Actually, fuck it. Gonna... And he, like, hates Kirk Ferentz, thinks he's the most overrated, just a shit coach, and, like, apparently thinks he must be, like, the devil incarnate. Uh, and so I wrote a rebuttal, like, kind of a half-snark rebuttal, and I put in the header, like, hey, guys, it's just sports. Like, I don't, I don't really care that much. It's not the end of the world. I'm not mad. It's just a thing I want to talk about for a little bit. Because I used to write sports. And it's been a while since I've got to write long-form content like that. And it was probably a five, about a five-paragraph essay, to be honest. Uh, you know, talking about how Kirk Ferentz is definitely not overrated. And is actually a good coach. Not a great coach, but a good coach. Because too often we confuse great and good. Uh, when we're, especially when we're talking about sports. Uh, so, to say Kirk Ferentz is not a, a good coach is just... Mind-bogglingly stupid. I could be honest, I'm kind of liking streaming this. I might have to make this a regular thing, like do this on like Friday nights before the Hawkeye games. Oh, Fant, it hits you in the hands, man. Friday night football. Got to talk to Joey about our Friday night plans. So if you guys don't know, I'm one half of the bottom shelf nerds. The S is actually meaning the plural. Because there's two of us that stream on this channel. There's me, my buddy Joey. He's the other half. He's your Fortnite guy. He also streams D&D &D and Magic the Gathering and stuff. Uh, not D&D, &D, but he streams Magic. Plays League, at least used to. Uh, I'm more of a... I'm a PUBG guy in our PUBG Fortnite fight. I play PUBG. Uh, you know, play some retro games every once in a while. Basically, I play what I want to play. Kind of a variety streamer, but it's all AAA games, you know? Like, I have some friends who are indie variety streamers. I play AAA games. But I'm more of a variety streamer. Joey kind of consistently streams the same all the same stuff so Joey won't watch stupid Fortnite unless he has a puppy cam I've been telling him well to be fair he doesn't have a dog at home where he moved to 
And did you hear about what happened to the other dog? Oh, you bitch, you broke contain. They only had it for like a month and then it passed. Yeah, he's way better at, at Fortnite. But he also plays a lot more Fortnite, which could speak to why he's better. I'm actually pretty solid at PUBG. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, the boxer? Yeah. It had a... I want to say... I don't know if it was epilepsy, but it had a seizure issue. And there was a medication complication. Apparently, uh, the previous owners that they adopted it from did not properly document the medications it had been taking. So when they gave it some medicine, it didn't... Had a boy! It didn't take it well and uh, ended up uh, passing away. Yeah. I mean, they still have Lady. You know, that really awesome... I can't remember what kind of breed it is. Coincidentally, my cousin has that same dog now, but it was... They bought it. Ten, he's 10 years old. $800 dog that his parents are gonna... that His mom, specifically, is making him pay for food, leash, like the dogs, like all the accessories. And it's like, why'd you make your kid buy an $800 dog? Because it clearly wasn't his idea. so dumb like I, our dogs are all mutts what do you think about madden 19 haven't played it probably not gonna um toyed with maybe doing for streams uh like a competitive season with my co-streamer you know he plays he's a jets fan i'm a vikings fan toyed with doing like a back and forth consistent franchise where we both play you know the games and i play against his jets and he plays against whoever he plays whoever the vikings are playing and vice versa but i don't think we're gonna get around to it oh shit i totally didn't realize there was only one second left snuck it in yeah when i played the vikings with other peeps sadly it's too late to do that and rtx i spent a little more money than i wanted to at the convention so i'm putting off some of the new games like, I'm not buying Spider-Man or Red Dead 2. I'm putting them on my Christmas list and then buying them after Christmas uh, if I don't get them. Uh, so it's not like I'm hurting for money or anything. I just don't want to spend the money on a game I'm only really, really going to play for Let's Plays. We're not big enough for that in my eyes. Uh, if we could grow, I would love to see that. And we have an, we have an idea for a series where that's where most of the money is going. We have an idea for, the seri for a series on YouTube for board games that... And if we can get the equipment for it, I'm actually really excited. Like, I think that could be a super fucking well-produced series that we could do for not super expensive, but I'd have to put off buying games to make that work, basically. Number three, but I'm super excited to try it, though. Yes! Hey, thank you for the follow, Big Ums. That's what I've heard. I heard it's more of a... Like, I remember there was a big jump from 16 to 17. And 17 was the last... No. What Madden was that? It was Madden 17. That's the series I did. There was a big jump between 16 and 17. And I usually am on the... Every two years track. But I've kind of slipped up a little bit. I'm kind of more going to every three. So I'll probably get Madden 20. Because, you know, they seem to... There didn't seem to be a huge difference... In like the reviews that I read were like from the previous season. And I might end up buying it, you know, on the sale or something, you know. But one of the things I really miss is roster progression, you know, like I've heard I've heard good things about that, but I wanna see version two of it. Like I wanna see year two of that technology, not year one. Uh, I wanna see what they push it next year. That's why I'm always a little leery when they say, hey, we got this new thing. I'm like, yeah, but maybe I'm going to probably wait until you refine it for the next season. And that's with any sequel. Like, you know, if they're changing mechanics and whatnot. Nelson, get off your block! What the hell was he doing? No idea. Uh, but but I, might, I might end up picking up. I'll probably get 20 for sure. Uh, 
I don't think you were out of the pocket there, dude. What's your number one game to get, like, meaning, oh shit, I totally whiffed on that! Oh no! Like, number one game I want to buy, or like, number one game I'd like recommend? Like, what do you, what do you mean about that? Like, kind of newish recommend. Um, well, it depends. Are there any genres you specifically don't like? Like, I play a lot of different types of games. Are there any genres you don't like? Like, I know a bunch, bunch of my friends can't do FPSs because it's just, they get motion sick. So I wouldn't recommend something like that. If you have any restrictions. Or if you have no genre restrictions, then it's a lot more open. Oh yeah, A is stiff arm when you have the ball. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, it is more of a game now. But still, I shouldn't have whiffed on that tackle. Like, I hit him. Kelly Martin! Nice rush. Do a little lean. Never played a fantasy kind of game. So, oh, what was I playing that was just... Oh, if you're looking... By the way, what consoles do you have? That's another question. Because uh, there are some obviously some console-specific games that I can't recommend if you don't have it. Oh, Stanley got lit up. Gain of one yard makes it second eight. You have an Xbox One. Okay. So, uh, God of War is out, so is Horizon Zero Dawn, which would both be great new games for you to try. They're great single-player experiences. I love the shit out of them. Um, obviously, there's the Middle-Earth, Shadow of Mordor, and Shadow of War. Uh, and those would scratch a little of that uh, Tolkienism fantasy itch. Get off! Oh, right to the one. And I really enjoyed Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I have yet to crack open my Shadow of War. Uh, which I'm going to be giving away a brand new copy of that for Extra Life along with this guy, which I just finished. I gotta, fi I gotta s literally spray my finish on it, but I'll po hold it up. That is a wood burnt tree of Gondor, if it can focus better. Uh, where it's wood burnt all around the edge. I used a blowtorch on that. Uh, I do wood burnings for like nerd theme stuff, like I did a Harry Potter keychain keychain holder that I'm going to finish up Tuesday when my nails come in. I got some really cool old wrought iron nails and I'm going to strike through the board. Uh, and then we did, I did like Mass Effect stuff and I'm going to do a Hawkeye logo because the Hawkeye logo is just fucking cool. Especially in relief. Like, burn it dark and leave the rest plain wood. It looks so cool. Uh, hey, I'm remembering to do my PAT this time. Uh, but yeah, the Middle Earth series for fantasy type games, single player, would be great for you. Really love the Nemesis series, where like if you kill an enemy, he comes back uh, and remembers that encounter, and it will change how you have to fight him. So maybe he'll be immune to what you killed him with last time. Stuff like that. Love it. Um, and obviously that's a little older, but Shadow of War just came out. Uh, I've really dug the last two Assassin's Creed's. Uh, Syndicate and Origins, and then the new one is coming out this fall. Oh, what's that one called? Fuck, what's that called? Um, for shooters, it's got a little bit of some fantasy lore. Uh, I would maybe say Doom 2016, if you never played the 2016 Doom, which is the that's what I got on my shirt. Uh, awesome, awesome shooter. Maybe the best shooter I've ever played from a single-player FPS campaign perspective. Fucking amazing. Odyssey, that's it. I knew it was an O. Because they, now they, you can't use ACO to describe the game because it's the same as the last game, which is Assassin's Creed Origins, which is weird. You have to call it a COD. You caught a COD. But I wanted, 
I wanted a halibut. <laughs> fish jokes. Well, speaking of fish jokes, so yeah, the day before RTX, fucking Jaron is carrying fish around to give to Marcus uh, outside the convention center. So we like had a legit uh, cash exchange for fish right outside at the loading docks of RTX. Fucking hilarious. Yeah, he brought fresh, fresh salmon down. And yeah, he was just carrying it around. He had an insulated pack with him. It was great. Let's see, what other Xbox One games would I recommend? Oh, of course, uh, for speaking of SPS, uh, the new Wolfenstein games. They're awesome. Wolfen so it's Wolfenstein, New Order, and Wolfenstein, New Colossus. Yeah, that's what we were saying. And then the hashtag was hashtag offload the fish. That's what we hashtagged for it. You gotta go offload the fish? Right, yeah, we're gonna go offload the fish. Oh shit! Should have juked, not spun. Oh! Then seriously, like I said, Doom 2016. The sequel's coming out next spring. Same with Wolfenstein. The sequel comes out next spring. They're from Bethesda. They have great stories, great camp, great campaigns, like awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, and their shooting mechanics, like how the game plays, super fucking polished and well done. Great gunplay. I would highly recommend those three. That keep you really busy uh, until next February when a bunch of games come out. Like that February 20th, there's like five games coming out that are on the slate right now that all look amazing. I think one of those is Doom Eternal. Looks really fucking good. And the soundtrack to Doom, that's my workout soundtrack. Like it is fucking heavy. I love it. Oh yeah, and for FPS. Hey Chris, what's up? Yeah, Siege is, Siege is a lot of fun for the mechanics, especially if you have a group. Uh, like, it's really great squad-based gameplay uh, from an FPS perspective as, as opposed to, like, an Overwatch where it's squad-based, uh, but it's not FPS-based, where it's, it's class-based uh, and objective-based. So an FPS shooter-style game that's squad-based, especially if you have a squad to play with, Siege is fantastic for that. But yeah, for campaign games, man, Doom and Wolfenstein. Oh, so good. So good. I'm actually going to be... I'm streaming that on and off too here. Uh, so maybe I'll hold off if you're going to be playing that. I wouldn't want to spoil anything for you if you're going to uh, come back. Because it's it's such an awesome game. Like, I really don't want to spoil how good it is for you. Like, that's the game you need to experience. That'd be my first recommendation. And then Wolfenstein, the two games... Right after, which you can get pretty cheap now because New Order is almost four years old. So you can get it pretty cheap, and it still is great. God, the Xbox has been out for five years for the for the one. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, I'll get the field goal. I didn't realize it was fourth down. I'm talking about video games, guys. I'm just, I'm not paying attention. I jokingly blame you. Oh, I hate that they don't change the angle to go where the ball goes. Because, man, I just snuck that in. Red Dead 2, yeah, that's a game about to come out. That's a, That'd be great for you. Same with Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah, Red Dead's coming out. And I love the first one. Oh my god, it was one of my all-time favorites. Ten twenty-six. Yeah, but yeah, if you do have, if you happen to see it on sale, like right now, it's probably hovering between twenty and thirty dollars. Uh, Doom, twenty sixteen. One of the best games of this current generation on any console. It's awesome. 
Oh, read option. Great read option. Too bad you're slow as shit, Kent. It was highly well executed. So what's everyone got going on tomorrow since we have a bit of a party going on in the chat? Oh, oh turn around, Creamer. Yeah, and the nice thing is about Doom, especially at that price, it's extremely well optimized. So even if you don't have a great PC, a lot of FPSs, you know, like it can be a challenge for your system to run. Doom is not. Like, it's really well optimized for even lesser machines compared to some FPSs. Like, Bethesda does a really good job with that on their shooters. Uh, I want to say who is the... id Software is the company that makes Doom. They're really good on that. This is out on movie night. Um, yeah, by the way, guys, we have a movie night. Uh, we're going to be watching Deadpool 2. We try to do one once a month. Maybe more, depending on the series. Like, we watched all the Mission Impossible series from a Thursday to a Sunday. Uh, that's in our Discord if you want to get involved in that. Keep things going off stream. Get in there! Oh, shit. Third and seven. All right, here we go. Um, But what do you think? If, if you want to do it tomorrow, it's entirely your call because you own the movie time. Uh, so you just let me know and I'll promote it and see about the Rooster Teeth Iowa group and see if they want to get in on it. Uh, you know, just to pop in. Oh, damn, he's at 97. Oh, he's the guy that caught the touchdown. Okay. That makes sense. But if you want to run it tomorrow, I'm, I'm totally game. Bliss can rent it. All right. Yeah, let's just do it tomorrow. If Bliss is the only one out, it sucks, but... Can't, can't can't please everybody all the time. Wish I could, but can't. That boy, Hesse. Farm strong. Nobody's getting away from him. Had a boy. Shit, Hesse. Should have had that. Should have had that. It was so dumb. I was hoping he'd pass it. I love getting picks with DEs. We could do it during the week too, if need be. Well, quick ask list if she if she has a specific weeknight where she's free because if memory serves, they're pretty close to wrap up, aren't they? On that production she's a part of. Oh shit! Oh, light him up. Yeah, the new Spider-Man game looks great. I I don't know if you yeah you probably went in here earlier. Uh, I go to RTX Rooster Teeth's uh, convention and I spend a little more than I should have. Plus. I'm saving up money because me and my co-streamer, we're going to start a new YouTube series uh, for board gaming, probably towards the start of the new year. Uh, so I'm saving up a little money. But that is definitely on my Christmas list. Everyone always tells me, oh, it's so hard to buy for you for Christmas for family. And it's like, guys, seriously, just ask me what video games are out, and I'll tell you what to buy. It's not that hard. Just, just ask. I don't care about the surprise. It's not so old lady has to work at 7 a.m. Yeah. I mean, we could probably start at like a 6 p.m. That worked for me. I get home at around 5.40. And then it's, it's up to you, too, is when, you're, when your time starts. Yeah, buy, buy a nerd shirt. Like, I actually, but this year I have tools on my list because I need some tools. My brother keeps taking all my shit. So I want stuff that's mine. Oh, 
Oh, that was fourth down. You didn't need to go for broke on fourth down. Come on, Iowa State. You're better than that. Sort of. Oh, shit. Burn your name. Burn your brother. <laughs> it pops off. Yeah, I don't think that works so well. He's in better shape than me right now. Still got 30 pounds on him, but still. Not in a good way. Oh, he almost broke it. But yeah, I love comics, superhero stuff. Like, we kind of have sometimes do a mini podcast about certain things when we feel, when we have the time and we have what we want to talk about. But I stay up to date on all the news about nerd, about nerddom in general. I try to keep up as much as I can. Did I play any sports in high school? Yes, I did. Uh, actually, I lettered in five. Uh, I have Crohn's, so I couldn't physically play football. They wouldn't let me. Fuck you, Iowa State. Uh, I But I managed football for four years. Uh, played basketball, golf, track, and baseball. Did golf and track at the same time. Uh, and I had golf as my primary, because I only did track them one year. They needed a distance runner. Uh, and I was halfway decent at distances. Nothing great, but... But I did it. How about yourself? Play any? Are you in high school currently or in college? They didn't do anything in college. It wasn't particularly very good, but... I was alright in basketball. I was just... More of a defensive specialist. I'm going to have him break 200 yards. Sophomore right now, playing hockey. Cool. See, we don't have hockey up in the middle of nowhere in Iowa. I'm assuming you're East Coast if you're a Redskins fan. But maybe not. Like, Ty's not from Chicago, and she's a Chicago fan. So, it's possible. Oh, he's the guy that has the touchdowns. Actually, Phoenix. Yeah, but I was a Skins fan from Oklahoma, so kind of a family team. I get you there, man. Field goal. Run up the score in the uh, in the rivalry game. See me, I'm up in the middle of nowhere in north central Iowa. Literally living on a farm. Just gonna sim this out. And there we go, end of game. Oh yeah, we get lots of snow in Iowa. Last year we had a shit ton of snow. We had three snowstorms in April that dropped over five inches apiece. Which is not the norm. It was just a really crazy spring. Hoping this, this winter is a little more mild. Thankfully we didn't get any major polar vortexes again. 
Those suck. Negative 50s are never fun. Hockey isn't even big. No, like, it's weird in the Midwest. So, like, your Great Lakes states, those are your hockey states. Uh, so, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania. And that's that's more upper Rust Belt into the New England area. And then, of course, New England and the East Coast. Uh Iowa is more of a wrestling state, like like old school Greco Roman style wrestling. Um, of course, obviously football. We don't even have any pro teams, so the Hawkeyes being probably the biggest commodity in the state. Uh, we have a Triple A baseball team for the Iowa Cubs, so baseball's up there too. We have a lot of great community baseball fields. Um, so it's definitely wrestling, baseball, football, and sometimes basketball, depending on the region of the state. But hockey never really caught on. Same with and soccer still isn't catching on. Like enrollments not even keeping pace with up like increased enrollment in basketball. So hockey's never really hockey and soccer. I mean, plus Iowa's really small towns, right? Rinks are expensive. They're much more expensive to keep up than a basketball court or a baseball court or a baseball field or a football field. Uh, small towns don't have the money for the arenas, and to go play, you're talking hour plus travel time to go be able to just practice. Not even, and to play, you're talking three, four hour drives because Iowa as a state is pretty geographically wide. So to get between state towns that have good rinks and good sized teams, you got to have like minimum two hour drives. Like, it's it's hard. Like there is a rink an hour away from me, but it's just got the North Iowa Outlaws, and they're like. What, six tiers down from the NFL? Yeah. They're fun to watch. They beat the shit out of everybody because they won their league like eight years in a row. And everyone gets trashed because they always constantly get over nine goals a game. But And I guess there is the Waterloo Blackhawks. They're the... What's that league that feeds into the NHL? And Light and Forty, thank you for the follow. And I coached a few of their players. I coached. I taught a few of their players when I stood taught at Waterloo East, which was the Waterloo West, which is the poorer school uh, in Waterloo, Iowa, which is sometimes called Little Chicago. They almost had an NFL team back in the day, actually. <coughs> they recently just tore that stadium down. <coughs> like back when the NHL was like just getting started. Uh, there was the Waterloo Packers. Uh, like there was a meat packing plant, big one. Big, actually, I think it was fish. No, it was meat. Might have been an all-all-purpose thing packing plant. But they were bigger than some of the other teams that eventually became part of the NFL. But Waterloo kind of lost a lot of, uh, tra like, I should say, population towards Des Moines and Iowa City. So it didn't grow as much, and then they didn't end up getting in the NFL. Let me look up what the outlaws are. Because they were gone for a while, then they came back. They're NAHL. So they're a junior A hockey team. No, that's when they left. They're still there. All right, so this site says they don't exist anymore, but they do. They still have games every year. Yeah, that's the old colors. They were green and black. Now they're red and black. Okay. Huh. They must be even below NAHL. Now. All right, let's see who we got for recruiting. Bow, bow. Bow down, bow, bow, bow. Oh, we're way down. And losing fast. You're not coming. Yeah, remove that prospect. Guys that were really not catching up or keeping pace. We're just going to remove.
I want to keep him. <sighs> Two out of ten burp. Yeah, it wasn't my greatest. All right, so this is probably going to be the last game plus the recruiting for week four uh, of the stream because we've been going a little over two hours now. I'll be clipping these out and probably just doing uh, the specific games. Uh, on the YouTube side. So I'll just clip out all the stuff in between and when I went to get a break for the drink and all that. And there was no depth. I don't burp a ton on Mountain Dew. It's not the right... It's not... It'll make you burp. Dr. Pepper? That shit'll make you burp. It's more like a root beer like that. I just won the championship with these guys. Well, yeah, because with pizza, you get the cheese burps. Seriously, this walkout, I'm missing my ACDC back in black. I fucking love that walkout. Everyone thinks it's overplayed. I'm like, shit, you never overplay ACDC. It's fucking possible. And that is true to life. Look at how, like, sh close the stands are to the bench. It's like three feet from the bench to the stands. That's why playing in Kinnick is so hard, especially in night games. I forgot they had Seven Nation Army in this game. Oh, Nelson, you whiffed! I won the Heisman with him. They have, there's an achievement for winning with, I think it's Southern Miss, Georgia State, somebody else. In your first year, if you win the NCAA championship, you get 70 gamer scores, so I won. Oh shit, he broke it up the sideline! Kinda wanna Grubhub food. Laziness is so real. And you wanna be super American? Grubhub or Uber Eats like the that big chicken McNugget bucket that they're doing now? Yeah. That's how you be a real American.
reception. Nelson with the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. See, that's another part about living in the middle of nowhere. You can't order food. There's no delivery near me. Get him down! Oh, shit! No Chick fil A for Sonic. Five minutes down the road. See, Chick fil A got me sick last time I ate it, so I'm not gonna eat a Chick fil A anymore. I could do the waffle fries, but I get waffle fries when I get my buffalo chicken sandwich at Shooter's Bar and Grill. It's actually they have a really good chicken sandwich. That sounds good. Sprinkle bacon on top of that. That sounds real good. Read that the whole way. Oh, you're not going to... Okay. Take the turnover on downs. Sure. Oh, he almost broke that. I'll do that first thing. Remind me when we're done to make a straw poll real quick. But to be honest, if you want to do it tomorrow, I'm I'm totally fine. Like if this can't make it, that's fine. If it works for your schedule. I don't know. It depends on depending on which version of the Blu-ray you buy. Cause you can get the theatrical. Uncut version is what I want to watch too. So. Well, we'll find out what it's got. Oh, lit up. Plus, I got to stop streaming this headset. Starting to hurt the top of my head. It's old. 
Oh shit! I'm better than that. I shouldn't have thrown that. He plays halfback. He didn't even play corner. And he picked me off. That's some bullshit right there. Boy Amani Jones getting that TFL, baby. Go user swat. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Anyone can see Black Klansman yet? Um, intentional grounding? Okay. I kind of want to go watch that. If we don't do Deadpool tomorrow, I might do that. But it's like two, it's like an hour away though. I have to make that a Monday night showing, or the Tuesday night, the cheap night. Oh shit! Fuck! Thank God for Hooker. Thank God for hookers, man. Oh, fuck! Damn near gave myself a heart attack. Catch that safety cheating up yet? Oh, here he comes. Not who I meant to throw it to, but he caught it. Wow, I'm one for two with a pick. That's less than good. He's wide open. Got it. I love when the setup plays work right. I, I hate those push ups in real life. God, they suck. You should have taken the knee, dude.
shit. Good run. I did not play that correctly. Uncut one? Cool. Yeah, if I remember right, Movies Anywhere works with Rabbit, but if you use Chrome, there's you can get the Rabbit extension to literally screen to stream what the window is showing to get around that. If it doesn't work. That's what I did for the last couple Mission Impossibles. What? Bring him down, Jesus. Oh yeah, which Jumanji? New one, I'm guessing? Oh, I enjoyed that one. Quite a bit. A new one? All right, I'll add it to the list. And yeah, let me talk to Chris and see if we want to maybe combine movie nights because I know he does them too. See if he wants to maybe promote Deadpool for his group. They're easy. They're gonna go for it, guys. Let's see if we can get another score before halftime, ideally. Nope, if you guys would have picked him up, that's a touchdown. That, brings up second and 13. that was some piss poor blocking. I'm game for that. I got Deadpool, I think, on digital as well. You bitch! Alright, they're gonna go for it again. Oh, they're gonna punt, okay. Call a timeout.
Oh, he almost got that. What? I should have I shouldn't have lobbed it. I should have gone hard at it. Fucking three picks. I've almost thrown as many picks in this game as Stanley did last season. Yeah, I've been consolidating mine onto Voodoo and movies anywhere. Oh, turn around, dude. You had it. Yeah, I've got about 40 in my digital options. They're both John Wicks. Pacific Rim. I think edge it tomorrow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that hit would get him ejected today. All right, good turnover, guys. Where's the fake spike pass? Call bullshit. I fucking love running that play, like the fake kneel, like bomb to the end zone. Should be kicking their ass. Three picks, man. Three. One on a tip ball. Two bad throws. That's a solid ass first down run, man. Only run 16 plays though. Because the picks are just killing me. Easley's gone. That's why I keep running the ball so the play action works. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad.
Oh, so I see in Discord, Liz says she's going to be a lot less busy. Tomorrow, I thought, was the rap day. So yeah, let's not do it tomorrow. Let's wait. I'm game. Want we'll to do it Monday night? I'm game. Monday night's a pretty dead night for us anyway. Oh, Nelson, Nelson you got to make that. So Deadpool 2 tomorrow? Yeah, not tomorrow. I meant yeah, Monday. You know what I meant. If I said I, if I said tomorrow, I meant Monday. Sorry. You know what I said about my short-term memory not being the greatest anymore. Yeah. Six thirty. All right, six thirty tomorrow. Six thirty Monday. Six thirty Monday. I will make the note. Oh! Almost had it. Sure, I will. I'll definitely like Chris Newell. Lots of Rooster Teeth Iowa people know too. So hopefully we can get a decent crew. Man, they've run 38 plays to my 18 plays. Oh my god! And we're up 14 nothing. Yeesh! Now the passing's coming along. My three incompletions are all picks. That's not so great. That's good for a gain of two yards. Sixty-nine. <laughs> Discord chatted everyone. Excellent, thank you. Two times, two times. Uh-huh. Got it. Gonna get him to a hundred yards this game again. Bowl a dude over.
Oh shit. to the one maybe the two all right good touchdown Rutgers beat Arkansas. That is not something I expected to see in this game. Because Rutgers kind of sucks. Yeah, Kelly Martin's my workhorse. Rutgers? Yeah, it's Rutgers. Like stuck in a Rutgers. Flag. Offside. Defense. Gentry that makes penalty the catch. Is huh. That's a gain of birthplace. Yeah, Rutgers is indeed the birthplace of college football, and they currently suck. If we could replace them with Pitt, I would be. Uh, or the Big Ten specifically, I would be a happy man. What the fuck was that? Uh, and Maryland's gonna get penalized to not not to make light of what happened, not to make a to death joke, but they're gonna have some serious penalties and suspensions levied against their program. So I mean, I'm kind of wishing they weren't in the Big Ten. They were money buys, not competition additions for the Big Ten. Go, oh, Martin, get up in that hole. Yeah, they want that New York market. I get that, but... I mean, Maryland, I get they have a much better TV audience, for especially for basketball, too. Uh, so that one I could see fully. I never really got the Rutgers thing, though. Like, they're not even a... Like, I don't know. I mean, I know part of it is so that way, since they have a New York team, they have to be carried in New York. So they have to be in part of their cable packages, and that makes them a ton of money on the Big Ten Network. I get that, but I don't know. From from a competition standpoint, there were a few other teams I wish they would have gone after. Not specifically on the East Coast.
Also, what's up, Jimbo? Welcome to the stream. Come down with it! a boy! That's your All-American tight end, Noah Fant. What the hell was that safety doing? No! I, I meant to hit... Oh, yeah, they, they climbed into the top ten because of Ray Rice. That's it. That's literally all they've done for, like, what, 30, 40 years? And he was a one-man show. He was their Saquon Barkley with literally no one else around him. Whereas if you'd gone with Pitt, you have the natural rivalry with Penn State. Uh, it extends Big Ten country even a little bit. Wait, no. Pitt's western Pennsylvania, right? I don't know that region super well. And they play more of a Big Ten style football. And they're competitive with Big Ten teams. So from the jump, they would have been competitive. Oh, fuck it. Georgia Southern, yeah. I actually just did the achievement to win the one in year one win with one of those three shitty teams, and I won with Georgia State. And, I mean, technically, some people wanted Missouri, even though they never really played Big Ten-style football. They'd have been a good draw for basketball, though. Um, and just as natural a rivalry as Nebraska is for Iowa, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I like the burgeoning rivalry between Iowa and Nebraska, especially because Iowa's been kicking the shit out of them, which pisses them off, and that levels up the ire so when you get a better rivalry, you kind of need a couple blowouts to make that happen. Not to mention any time you can stick one in the craw of a Nebraska fan and be like, hey, you haven't been relevant since the fucking late 90s. You're less relevant than Iowa. Shut up. Damn near cellar dweller in the Big Ten West. That's not good. Anytime we get a reminder of that, I'm always happy. Yeah, they took a bit of a step down. All right, I'm going to sim it out from here. It'd be pull starters time anyway, so... Yeah, the NDSU win, that was a good game, don't get me wrong. Having your QB go down in the back half, he was not right that whole season. Frankly, Bethard should not have played that entire season. He had a torn groin for damn near all of it. What a just that was dumb on the part of the coaches to let him play when we had a really good freshman QB to get him some game experience. Because no matter what, Bethard was gone after the year. North Dakota State is one of like the two or three FCS schools that could bump up a level and be competitive in a lot of the Power 5 schools. Like, they'd be, especially, I don't know about now, but like, especially when they had, when they had Wentz, holy shit. Their offensive line was a Big Ten offensive line. They were damn good. Wentz was not there. This was the year after Wentz had left, but a lot of that offensive line were had, was still there. Uh, and Iowa actually poached their coach to be the offensive line coach after that season. Yeah, he was a great coach. He was a phenomenal coach. And he's, he's a great offensive line coach, too. I almost wondered if he was going to take over as offensive coordinator, but then he gave it. Then obviously, Brian Ferentz is the offensive coordinator now. So, And I think Farron, Brian's going to have a fantastic career. Uh, in the NCAA, whether or not he stays at Iowa long term, even though I'm pretty sure he will, he's probably going to take over for his dad. He's a really good coach. Yeah, yeah, hard to tell what they could do with those with additional scholarships, but the apparatus that they have at North North Dakota State, a great winning culture, solid indoor stadium uh, that is constantly packed, like they make money at, at the SCS level, and they have. 
experienced staff. And clearly they recruit well. You know, you don't get a guy like Carson Wentz without paying attention to recruiting. So they're one of the schools. And back in, I want to say, maybe six, seven years ago, UNI was maybe a similar school to that level, University of Northern Iowa. Constantly competing for the FCS championship right alongside NDSU. They've taken a step back. And yeah, Idaho is going back down. That was, I don't, one of those things where I'm not really sure why they moved up. Whereas, like, I could see a North Dakota State being like, yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just, Top, where does FBS know? Like they could do it, um, and I think they'd be competitive in like a Mountain West. I think they'd be they'd be competitive in that conference, at least especially in the mid tier. Maybe not top tier winning the conference, but they'd compete. Uh, and within a few years, I think they'd be you know potentially winning that conference, or at least competing to win it. Whereas like right now. Even just a couple years ago, you and I was better than Iowa State in the Big 12 and would have been probably more competitive in the Big 12 than Iowa State was. And that helped. They had uh, David Johnson, who was obviously now at... Yeah, you need an invite. I understand. Uh, and it's 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 interesting how expansion and all that stuff is going to play out as we go to super conferences more and more. Um, I think you're going to have to see some of those schools that are constantly at the top of the FCS maybe get a look as opposed to adding a... Con a team that you know isn't great uh, so that's going to be the next few years of football especially as I was, we were mentioning at the top of the stream as football it isn't waning right now in college but it is in high school just a little bit but that's all it takes for that snowball to start if that keeps going I'm a little one I'm wondering how the future of the sport's going to play out I'm not talking like within 10 years it's going to die but long term if you lose your high school base if they just don't play anymore then it's going to be college and then it's going to be the pros and it might actually be high school NFL then college dies but we'll see based on how TV and all the, pol all the politics bullshit plays out alright so let's do my recruiting and then we've been going almost three hours So we'll do the recruiting and then probably call it. All right, Robert Willis is on campus. Where's... Oh, we're way off for him and I really wanted to keep him. All right, remove him. Shit, we're way down for him, too. How is Iowa State beating me out for him? That's stupid. All right, let's search for... Added a few more. Yeah, we can... No, he's the guy we just launched. Alright, I guess we're not going to get a full Mac. It's not even going to bother. Well, the lead for him... Really close with him. Let's bump him up to 70. I want to get him.
Something tells me we're not going to get him. Not going to get him either. Moving on. Want to get him, but we're not. Is set. All right, so do we play one more game or do we call it here, stream? What do you think? We're currently 3 0. Just about to start the Big Ten season. Am I getting any votes? Oh, we're one away from the... You're going to call it? All right. Well, if, if my mod's going to call it, I should probably call it as well. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I haven't played NCAA 14 in a long time. Um, I'm actually probably going to be getting back into this on a weekly basis now for the rest of the college football season. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you know, Drop a follow if you'd like to stay up to date with when we go live for stuff like this. I might have my co-streamer Joey play against me in some games. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we'll do that in the bowl game for uh, for the championship or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks, Ty, for you know making sure we broke the tie to go with this game. Uh, huh, thanks, Ty, for breaking the tie. <laughs> uh, and thanks everyone else who followed and my lurkers and everything like that. Uh, you know that the lurkers make the world go around for streaming, and I'm one myself when I'm not streaming. Uh, so thanks for hanging. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do Deadpool two probably Monday night. Uh, if you guys want to drop it and check out the Discord, by all means, please do. We're gonna watch the uncut version of Deadpool two. Uh, we do, you know, we talk a lot of stuff in, in Discord and you know, plan streams and game nights and stuff like that and movie nights and stuff. So uh, definitely check us out if you feel the need. And we'll be streaming more probably tomorrow. Uh, I might play some Doom uh, tomorrow. Maybe even continue the Dynasty. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what uh, people want me to want me to do tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, if we don't stream tomorrow, if you don't pop in, hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend and hopefully I'll see you next time.